Now, happy Saturday. Thanksgiving, just five days away, can you believe it? But if you still haven't decided on the kind of flowers you want to use to decorate the Thanksgiving feast, well, maybe you should uh, send someone for uh, the dining room table. Or, so, or maybe send to someone for the dining, dining room table. I'll get my subject and predicate here correctly. Tracy Pascarella from your florist and Clinton is here with lots of ideas. You've got traditional, you've got, well, I'll let you take us through it. Because you well, have a little non-traditional to start, um, either square, round, whatever, but it's nice to spread out some small little vases, little candles in between. Um, the nice thing too is you can give them then to people as gifts, you know, to take home sure. with them and that's sort of fun. Um, and it's also easier if you serve family style to have something that's a little smaller and, and spread throughout the table so that uh, if all your plates are on the table. I was gonna say, it, it would seem that, you know, you, Usually a Thanksgiving table's got lots of stuff going on in there, and so you have to think about Right, it depends. It Sometimes people serve family style, putting everything on the table. If you serve buffet style, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. But it's nice to be able to spread it all out um, and have something a little bit different. This traditional, our candles are like... They're, bur they're burning. <laughs> they're, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, this, well, the air conditioning ducts are uh, yeah, on, I think. Right. And it's th um, but the traditional <laughs> long and low, you can have it with candles, you so can have it without... This is traditional over here, right? right? This traditional... Big guy non-traditional as, as a big centerpiece right big long centerpiece um generally tables are you know longer to fit a lot more people if you have sure. a round table this same concept can can occur but round and you can just tell your local florist where you go you know what type of table you have how big it is and then they can make it appropriate sized um if you have allergies, some people say, oh, no flowers, out people with allergies. You can do things that are artificial yep. that'll go down the center of your table. I have some artificial grapevine, some little um, green orbs, some pumpkins. So you can put some things that are artificial on the table and then it's not gonna bother people who have allergies. Mm -hmm. And you can use them year, you know, year after year after year, That's which true. is they sort last of fun. Forever, right? right, exactly. And I, I guess that is one thing that might not be immediately thought of, something you have to consider, not only if you're decorating your own table, but sending flowers right right and you know sending flowers you want to keep in mind where they're going mm -hmm. um, one of the most important things if you're sending out of town and you're looking up online to see if you can um, you know send FTD, some flowers kind of thing, yeah. um, make sure and you can google the town you're sending them to whatever type of search you like to use Yahoo search whatever um, make sure you're actually talking to a florist um, okay. when you get you know if you google florist in Clinton for example there's a little shaded box up top called sponsor results they're not actually florists they're just order takers they're gonna make that same phone call to a florist oh, that okay. you're making to them and they're charging you for that phone call so ask little questions like I'm gonna be in town can I stop in and see what you like am oh. I able to pick up you know the the arrangement myself that type of thing so you can sort of quiz them a little and make sure you're actually talking to a florist because the order takers out there are gonna take you know 20 or 30 percent of the money that you're giving them well, just that, to make a phone call for you. Not only that, but I'm thinking too that something could get lost in the translation a bit. It's like when you tell a message to the more the Exactly, more people, it's like the telephone game and that's exactly. what you're playing. So if you call up and you actually talk to a florist, and I have people calling my shop and they ask me those questions. Are you the person who's actually gonna make it and deliver it? So people are starting to get that, but don't pay someone to make a phone call that you're making to them. Right, yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't make any sense. And you can also talk to that florist and find out what do you have in stock so you're not looking at you know a typical you know FTD website that shows the same thing that they're sending all over the place you're gonna call somebody and they may say hey you know we've got some great square vases and candles I'm sorry to, to have to wrap you I, I'm getting the I'm getting the, the hook from you oh, are yes so I'm sorry about that but Tracy thanks for coming in I like the idea of, of several smaller pieces and I'm thinking too because you can always, if you need to make space, you can lose one or two without losing the decorative. Exactly. Effect. And happy birthday to my nephew, Nick, 17. Oh, yeah. Nick Nelson, All Madison. All right, Nick, way to go.